My name is Ed Quinlan. I'm the uh, owner of an engineering firm that did the design for this project. Got a group of people that have pulled this all together. And this is a special project for me because it's my last job before retirement. So this is a sweet final swan song for me. I've been working with these folks for many years, CBRE for 25. They're a good client and this is a hell of a project to uh, put together for them. Northeastern is a fantastic contractor. It takes a lot of people to pull a job like this together and this is a special job. It's happening. Today we're bringing up the main pieces of the new chiller plant which are the chiller shells. They weigh about 8,000 pounds. You can't get them up any other way other than a helicopter. The building is air conditioned with things called chillers. It's not like your home air conditioner. It's major big thousand ton machines that have huge motors and compressors. Uh, they are the heart of the building's air conditioning system. What was here was 40 years old. It was steam powered. Uh, one of the big things about this, this new plant is it's going to reduce the carbon footprint of their air conditioning system by 80 percent reduction. So it's a huge win for the building, for the tenants, for the, for the city. 30, 40 years ago, steam was the way they powered a lot of these buildings' air conditioning systems. They were steam turbines. It was cheap. Today that's not true at all, especially with high efficiency chillers that we can get that are driven with electricity. So everybody's been pulling out the old steam turbine chillers and going electric. We've done our share of, of these conversions also. The big important aspect for me was the impact on the environment. This chiller plant um, is using about 20% of the energy, 80% savings compared to the old plant that was here. So not only is it more efficient, uh, it re relies less on people's intervention to keep it running. So it's a benefit really to the occupants of the building, to the owners of the building, and to the people who have to operate the systems. A lot of people don't realize what it took to get the power up here. This took uh, two megawatts of juice from the 12th floor to the 35th floor coming up through a shaft that people had to work in to get it installed. Uh, the electricians were incredible what they did, what they accomplished. The piping was, was, was tough, but look around, it's all, it's all exposed and you can get at it. The power, the wiring was uh, just a real tough thing to do, but they pulled it off. Look at all this, look at all this real estate left over here. I mean, this room was full of equipment before. And it just shows you how not only efficient, but compact the new equipment is. Maybe they can put a new boiler plant or something up here in the near future, we'll see. That's another, that's some other engineers gonna have to figure that one out, I'm, I'm done. I started in this business 40 years ago and my interest at the time was energy efficiency and, and energy conservation. Here's an interesting story. I worked, I worked at a firm where the bulk of the work was traditional engineering, and I was in the energy efficiency group. They called us, kind of derisively, the BTU Chasers. That's now my email address, ed at btuchaser.com, because to me it was a badge of honor, not something to be ashamed of. And 40 years later, I mean, I look back, that's really what my career was all about. It was really trying to make a difference from an environmental point of view on buildings, their impact on the environment, and the people that live within them. And I think that, I think I was successful. I'm happy with what I did, but I'm uh, even more happy in retirement now. When I started in this business, it was back in 1980. And um, it was back when the environmental movement was really having its initial birth. And so what really motivated me was the environmental aspects of engineering, trying to do something with engineering that would make a positive impact on people's lives and the planet. And that's what I and my partner at the time um, tried to do for the 40 years that we worked in this type of work. I did a job for the first time with Northeastern Mechanical about 20 years ago at another building in town. Um, I hadn't worked with them before. Uh, it turns out that we, we both did similar kind of work. They did jobs that were kind of specialized on building infrastructure projects, and we did the engineering for projects associated with, with uh, building infrastructure projects. So uh, we kind of... Uh, 
were in it, married in a way because of the type of work we did and the type of expertise we had. So over the last 15 years, I don't know how many of these types of chiller projects we've done, but there have been a lot of them. And Paul, Lyons, Franny, I mean, you know, it's like, we, it's like we're, we're friends because we've done so many jobs together and they've all gone well. They're a great uh, group of people to work with and I will miss them. Good guys.